What I want to do today is connect our Google Sheets and Monday.com apps so that whenever we add a row onto our Google spreadsheet, a new item will automatically be added into our selected Monday.com board. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial, so you can try it risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want Google Sheets to trigger the creation of a new item on Monday.com, I'll need to use Google Sheets as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click New Spreadsheet Row as my event and then click Continue. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime Google sees that I've created a new row in my selected spreadsheet, it's going to run this workflow. The first time we set up Google Sheets, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your Google account. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. Click Continue, and then we'll need to set up our Trigger Apps data. Before we fill any data out, I'm going to check my Google Spreadsheet to make sure that the rows that I have on my spreadsheet match the rows that I have on my Monday.com board. As we can see, I've set up my Google Spreadsheet tabs with the following tabs. Project, Person, Status, Date, and Link. These tabs match the tabs that are listed on my Monday.com board, which I'm planning on using for my Zap. Go back to your Zap, and then under Spreadsheet, click the spreadsheet you want to use for your Zap. I'm going to click Zapier Project Plans. Under Worksheet, click the worksheet you want to use for your Zap. I'll click Sheet 1. In order to finish setting up this trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click Test Trigger. You're all set with the first step. Click Continue and we can start creating our action. Type in Monday.com into the search bar and select it on the drop down menu. Next, click Create Item and click Continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate Monday.com with Zapier, just like I did with my Google account. Because Monday.com uses single sign-in authentication for their login screen, we'll need to add our API token into our Zapier authorization screen. To find this, go back to your Monday.com account screen. Click your thumbnail picture on the bottom left-hand side of the screen, and then under the account dropdown, click Developers. Next, on the top of your screen, click the Developer tab and click My Access Token under the drop-down menu. Once we are at the My Token screen, we can copy our token and paste it into our Zapier authorization screen. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Click Continue, and it's time to assign our Trigger Apps data into the Action Apps field. First, pick the board ID you want your data to appear on. I'm going to click Project Planning Dates. Next, for the group ID, click the group you want your data to appear under. I'll click This Month. For the rest of the data, we'll use the tabs we created in our original spreadsheet. Under Item Name, I'll click Project. For Person, I'll click the people that I want to assign to the items. I'll only be adding one, but you can add as many people as you like. The spreadsheet I've created is for tasks that are currently in progress, so under Status, I'll click Working on it. Next, under Date, I'll click Date, and under the web address, I'll click Link. Lastly, for the text to display, I'll type in a custom message that says, Zapier Tutorial Videos, and then I'll click Continue. Next, click Test and Review, and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, anytime a new row is added into our selected Google Spreadsheet, 
a new item will automatically be added into our monday.com board. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier can do so much more with these two apps and thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.